It's Jackson's hour. And what's he gonna do? Is he gonna sing some songs for you? Is he gonna tell us metal facts? Is he gonna show you how to get jacked? It's hard to say what he's gonna read. I just don't know what it could be. What sort of thing would he be reading to us? Is there something in his history that would assist and help us see the type of document a side to jack jack? The only thing that's preventing us from learning what he'll be reading thus is that this song is going too long. But now it's over, so get ready for jack jack now. Buenas noches y bienvenidos, damas y caballeros, y la día de la basura para ti. Well, hello, everybody. It's Jack Chick, and I have just received my document. This is exciting. It's called Twas the Night Before Boner Mess. <laughs> no. Oh, no. So, uh, you know, that's what I'm in for. How are you all? I hope well. I'm going to have some wine. This document here was provided to us by Yavuz, and uh, it has a description of, oh, look, it's everyone's favorite poem, mangled by horny people into horrible shapes. I am having some minor technical difficulties here, so hang on. Thank you. Alrighty. So we're going to start off with a Twas the Night Orgy by the Erotic Elves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. It was the night before Christmas and all through the net. People were horny, steamy, and wet. The pussies were dripping as soon as they knew that the cocks around them were stiffening too. The ladies were ready, willing and spread. The men kneeling down, giving them head. Santa squeezed down the chimney hoping to fuck, but found halfway down that he became stuck. Up hole was stuck up his arse with some force. Poor Santa thought he'd been kicked by a horse. They tried and they tried, but they couldn't unstick. He was wedged in the chimney by the size of his dick. The pole dancers gathered round and had an idea. Perhaps if they sucked Santa's cock, he could get himself clear. <laughs> Fuck. 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 One by one, they sucked on his knob, knowing this wasn't a one-dancer job. The elves wondered how they could help, too. So they opened their mouths and awaited his goo. While they waited, the... <laughs> Fuck, this is awful. While they waited... <laughs> <laughs> While they waited, the elves passed the time by fucking the dancers in a Christmas conga line. The reindeer were handy, they placed in their stalls, hoping to lick the salt from Santa's balls. Mrs. Claus wandered in, her arms laden with gifts, but the elves ripped off her blouse and went straight for her tits. <laughs> Is this whole doc like this? <laughs> The sound of the fucking roused me from my bed. Just when I had been dreaming of the wife giving me head, I started downstairs and what a sight I did see, else fucking and sucking under the tree. My cock sprang to life at the sight of the mob, so I let Mrs. Claus give me a yuletide hand job. My wife came down and got such a fright that I knew she'd be coming the rest of the n n What? <sighs> okay, sure. No, no, it's fine. It's good. Santa fell from the chimney, making a crash, landing hard enough to force the pull from his ass. The orgy continued into the morn. The elves and the dancers making holiday porn. They moaned and they groaned with the Christmas spirit. Then the missus and I hoped that the neighbors wouldn't hear it. <laughs> But try as we might, the neighbors did hear, and soon wandered over to share the holiday cheer. 
I didn't even know my one neighbor's name, but turned to see my wife sucking his candy cane. She turned to me, her face dripping with cum, saying, I never knew Christmas could be so much fun. Santa pulled up his pants and called his team to his sleigh because he knew that they had to be on their way. We have gifts to deliver, but we'll need lots of luck to make the rest of our rounds after stopping to fuck. One by one, they piled into his sleigh, thinking of the fucking and sucking from the day. God, how much fucking... Okay, it's only two more lines. Okay. I heard him explain ere he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to you and your wife was merry, cherry, and tight. So... So I think that's actually the single worst one of these I've ever read. And uh, this is a whole doc of this. So that's exciting. Um, okay, so we're just going to drink a little more. How are you guys? Are you enjoying Garbage Day? I'm not reading the chat, so I actually can't actually determine if anybody is responding. But I hope you are. Hope you guys are having fun. Thank you. Hope you guys are uh, donating lots um, to our charity that I forget the name of because I am disorganized. And with that, I think that, you know, I think we're all on the same page here. And really what we need is, is some BBWs. It was the night before Christmas, all alone in my den, stroking my cock to big girls again, <laughs> pumping the shaft of my penis with zest, wishing to come on a double N chest. I shot my load all over the floor. I, okay. While I imagined being a BBW's whore, then I pulled up my neck pants, still uncomfortably tight, and hoped I'd feel better. After a long dreamless night, no sooner though had I closed my eyes than I was assaulted by elves who screamed, Surprise! <laughs> Helping out in the soundboard tonight, we have uh, Sanguinary and um, Shell Game, so very appreciated to both of them. That's the only I was bound hand and foot, bag on my head. I thought that surely I soon would be dead. The elves, they just laughed. Fear not, little man. It's the will of the mistress. It's part of her plan. Then with a great noise, I was whisked away and awoke a bit later, unsure of the day. These are all new lines, just so that you're aware. And commas, so I'm, you know, pausing. My bindings were gone and I lay on the floor. But I jumped up quite startled when I heard the door. There was a doorway crafted. Oh, sorry. There in the doorway crafted with care was a porcelain BBW with deep, dark red hair. Her lips were red fire, skin like fresh snow with rosy red cheeks and a cute button nose. Her breasts were huge L cups. What the fuck kind of lame ass bullshit is this? L cups? Come on. We were looking for double N's earlier. If not, then in some more. And her huge yet firm ass dropped my jaw to the floor. The blood left my brain and went straight to my cock. I felt my ball strain as she started to walk. Toward me, she strode with a confident air. Batting blue eyes, face framed in red hair. Running her fingers over my chest, she slinked all around me and pinched on my ass. That doesn't rhyme. I'd ask she did whisper, but if you like what you see, but that tent you are pitching is all the answer I need. With a... Qu Fucking God, these are awful. With a quick link, my pants fell on the floor. Now what should we do, my little man whore? Quickly she guided me up to her bed, my cock now exposed throbbing purple and red. Then taking the length of my cock in her hand, she sucked on the tip and massaged both my glands. It, was that supposed to be glands? And then why do you have two? Uh, I... Okay, all right. Now, hang on. You're a professional, Jack Chick. You can do this. That's why I get paid the big bucks, right?
My knees grew weak instantly. I was ready to pop when she quit her ministrations and said we should stop. You're here for me. My pleasure comes first. Worship my body like a good little slut. I... Of course. In fact, I think you should start with my butt. Eagerly, eagerly, I sucked down, I licked her asshole, her pussy as she stroked my dick. Her belly, her tits, I worshipped them all and kissed her red lips while she tugged on my balls. And after I pleased her more times than I could count, she pushed me on the bed and my cock she did mount. Her pussy was perfect, so warm and so tight, I wished I would last and feel it all night. But with her sweet belly and tits in my face, it wouldn't be long if she kept up the pace. Then all at once it arose from my balls, along with the moan that rattled the walls. I'm coming, I screamed, I'm coming for you. Yes, your mind and your body belong to me now. Submit, boy slut, to my hot warm pussy. Oh my fucking god. Okay, there's five more stanzas. We can do this. We're in this together. When I had come, I was sure we are done, but my goddess was ready for still yet. Let's keep that going. Please. She laid her finger aside of her nose, and with a quick spell, once again, my dick rose, and my ball swelled with cum with a kiss of her nose. Christmas night is magic, and it lasts longer than most, and used every minute to fuck my hot host. I had finished shooting a load on her chest when she sighed, Now it over, and we both need a rest. I begged and I pleaded, I never would roam. I know you won't, sweetie, but Santa is home. You're Mrs. Claus, I struggled to say. Of course I am, silly, the magic didn't give it away. I'll just send you back. It'll happen so quick. But you remember now that I own that dick. It comes for me alone, and you jack off to me when you get home. And with a sweet kiss, I was back in my place with memories of her round, gorgeous face. Hurriedly running out to the tree, I found a Christmas gift from Mrs. Claus to me. Here's a video of what we did all night long and a cock ring to remind you to whom you belong. And don't forget to keep your calendar free, because you're mine again next Christmas Eve. <sighs> so this should be about an hour of work, right? Um, 13 minutes in. Fantastic. I don't know. Maybe if I read them in voices, it'll be go faster. Holy fuck. How long is this doc? God, I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> So King Lou Fernandez is your artist for the evening. Or, uh, you know, that's good. And uh, like I said, Sanguinary and Shell Game are both helping out. So that's, uh, that's also very helpful. And, uh, you know, um, it's, a, it's a fun little, fun little marathon. Um, it's nice to be able to get the F-plus crew together since uh, obviously COVID has uh, fucked up all of our plans. Party. Not, not that we actually had any long-term plans, but you know. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm going to skip a few and just go to this one that says, uh, it says blowjob Christmas. I'm sure that won't be, you know, awful. Okay. Uh, spoiler alert. It is. And uh, yeah, so this is by Drive Me Wilder. Twas the night before Christmas, the family was fed. Kay on her knees, giving Troy some head. I'm going to assume that that is uh, Troy Aikman. Troy Aikman. She slurped and she licked as they waited on St. Nell. <laughs> fuck it. Uh, fuck. She, she slurped and she licked as they waited on St. Nick. Teasing softly and deep, both knew that tonight they'd get no sleep. 
laying on his back, watching her head bob, his bride in her mouth, gobbling his knob. It shrined and it glistened, covered in her spit. She loves this man and she'll never quit. Well, yeah, man, he loved a I'm pretending like I know anything about sports. Um, now standing and kneeling, a new point of view. Love like this is pure and true. Hair in his hands, he guides her stroke, sometimes deep. He controls her choke. Fingernails tickle and caress his balls. He's a lucky man, and tonight he stands tall, picking up the pace and starting to moan. No stopping now. We're in the danger zone. <laughs> Perfect. It's starting to build. There is no turning back. His orgasm is leaving his nutsack. <laughs> the orgasm boils deep in the nutsack. <laughs> rope after rope of love juice explodes <laughs> and lands on her tongue load after load <laughs> looking up at me with those begging eyes I'd take a bullet for this woman for her I'd die my baby food hangs off her chin and her nose I squeeze her tits since, since we're wearing no clothes <laughs> Okay. All right. No, I got this. She closes her mouth and I know what's to follow. I look at her throat. While she... <laughs> I look at her throat while she gulps and swallows, kissing the head of her love pole divine. <sighs> she stands and I hold her. I, lo I love that she's mine. For now, it's all over. Three minutes of bliss, a memory to reflect, savor and reminisce. Okay, so skipping around was a bad idea. This one's called Christmas Poem Parody, and parodies are fun, ah! but, so this one shouldn't be too bad. Dead air is fun, right? Twas the night before Christmas, no sound could be heard. My boyfriend played video games. From behind, I shot him the bird. The stockings were hung on my thighs with some care and a black satin thong on my ass in hopes he'd come there. I laid on my bed and thought, what a turd. Then outside came a noise he must not have heard. Almost naked, I bitched and grumbled toward the door, and there I saw something I hadn't before. A man pulled the doorway, backed up real quick. Who are you? Where's Santa? Well, I'm his son, Dick. He too dressed in red. <laughs> he too dressed in red, well, except the black shoes, and he had a nice ass. What the fuck could I lose? I flopped down on the couch and opened my thighs. Well, Dick, did you bring this poor girl a surprise? Dick grinned, said, you bet, and opened his pack. With an ass like he had, I didn't notice it up. I didn't notice it up and his back. He brought out some toys and he brought them out quick. I looked at his crotch and thought, what a big dick. He pleasured me hard. It turned out most pleasant. And he taught me to use each and every present. When at last he was finished, I thought of the prick. No, not that one. The one on his game that makes me right sick. Did you bring him a present? I asked tired dick. Yes, a sign that says fuck me because that bastard is thick. A nice ass and a thong should say it quite well. He can have all I can say is as a baby, he must have felt. All I can all I all I can say is as a baby, he must have felt. This poem is not very good, people. I'm I'm I'm. Yeah. All right. Two more stanzas. We got this. Vamos. I lay on that couch, my chest still heaving, while I watch Dick pack up and go about leaving. 
you know, like humans speak. And I heard him explain as he went into the night, fuck your girl when she's horny or else someone might. So we got a donation here. This is, uh, assuming I'm reading this right, this is from uh, Sala Sala Bimp. This is, uh, the, the quote is, "'Twas the day of the garbage, and all in the stream, the snakes heard what Jack read, and they let out a scream. So thank you. So now we have a little break. Let's trek in with the chat. Oh, God, 34 minutes. You're fucking telling me. Hi, Clav- Clavier. Hi, Eider Duck Quack. Bad writing from Literatica. Yeah, I know. Really? It's who would have ever thought? <laughs> if the guy is a true gamer, he would have used a sock. Agreed. So I uh, I I hope all of you have um, have booze. I only have wine, actually. So that's what I'm drinking tonight. We have a uh, we have a lovely uh, Finca Las Moras Malbec. Uh, it's an Argentina vino tinto. Thank you for uh, for Sachi Bell for using Lil Chicky, which is my my true uh, um, uh, my true name. All right, here we we've got a choice. Okay. So, so in the chat, tell me which one you would prefer. Uh, the one titled The Night Before Christmas or the one titled Twas the Night Before Christmas? Okay, Christmas is uh, absolutely the, uh, the winner here. So we're going to read Christmas. I'm sorry, Lou, do you need me to slow down and uh, read these, like, savor the the terribleness? (laughs) Okay. So this is by Orgasmic Duo 2019. "'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, no one else was naked, just me and the spouse. We all, we, we just, well, okay. We just settled into bed with some strawberry ripple. I, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, okay. She looked at me slyly as she poured some on her nipple. I licked and caressed one, then went on to the next. Then Party. as luck would have it, she got us. Thank you. She got a stupid text. We both agreed. It. Use that to drink some wine. Did you guys know that Argentina is uh, one of the top ri- winemaking regions in the world? Like, actually, uh, in the uh, Mendoza re- region, it's uh, really good stuff. So this is kind of a dry red. We both ignored it as we started to play. What a way to finish up a very long day. Oh, please go into a history of the fucking day, please. All this excitement got me hard as a rock. In no time at all, she was sucking my cock. She took it shallow. She took it deep. There's no doubt that tonight there would be no sleep. Till Brooklyn. She sucked me off for what seems like forever. (laughs) You know what else seems like forever? And to ask her to stop, I'd have to say never. My reaction to the action caused my temps to spike. She continued to do what she knew I'd like. I was about to... I was about to come and it started to show. She stopped in an instant before I could blow. She was out to torture me. That was my belief, but no matter her intention... (laughs) I needed some relief. I lowered myself to tease her clit. I was hoping to hit the spot. Yep, that's it. (sighs) Guys, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Stop with this. 
She pulled me to her pussy and took in my dick. Her tightness made me feel like I was really, really thick. I fucked her for a while, but I hadn't come yet. Her pussy lips were swollen and she was very, very wet. Oh, good. No, so we're, we're attempting to use some um, some literary techniques of, you know, having having a similar rhythm and scansion, but, um, you know, we're terrible at writing, so we fucked it up terribly. She pushed me aside and then climbed on top. She rode me like a cowboy, and I begged her not to stop. She rode me hard, and I it was a hell of a ride, but this time I couldn't help it, and I came inside. She looked at me again. She looked again at me shyly as she sat, then sat on my face. Her come in mine, plenty for me to taste. Too weak to continue. It was time to sleep at last. It really, truly was the night before Christmas. Okay. All right. Now, if we just so maybe maybe we've been approaching this the wrong way. Maybe what we need to do is we just need to power through a bunch of them really quickly. So this one's called Ms. Marka Night Before well, Zam My Fuck Ass. It. Just to repeat that title there. Ms. Marka Night Before Zam's My Ass. It was the night before Christmas and although the house, I felt shitty even for the fucking mouse. My husband was away. I was hot and horny, just ready to play. I had a young stud over who had been smoking grass. I was ready to give him some ass. Me and my cap and on all fours, hey, big boy, make me your whore. Then out on the lawn, I heard such a clatter. I slipped the, I slipped the guy's cock out to see what was the matter. There out on the lawn, I saw a big dick. And I know in the moment that it had to be that fucking Saint Nick. He came down the chimney. Like a bat of <laughs> he came down the chimney like a bat out of hell too. back into hell. The greatest album by Meatloaf. I knew in a moment the drunk motherfucker had fell. Like, on his cock? Ah! Me and my cop, cap and my six-inch pumps. So if you got, the foot, got a foot fetish, here we go. You got it. And I know all the F-plus fans have foot fetishes. I mean, it's just kind of how it goes. I hurried down the stairs so we could hump. You never know about a hand job and a fuck. Shit, get him just right. You always get more bucks. Wh what? He filled my eight pair of pantyhose with goodies and a big sparkling ring. Oh boy, I got to be a good girl and ring his ding-a-ling. He... <laughs> he... He, he ate my cookies and drank my glass of cheer. He was real nice. He left a big rubber dick for my photographer friend, the queer. Uh, I, 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 okay. My apologies for um, reading that out loud. Typically I wouldn't. Um, it kind of snuck up on me with his eyes on my 40 dub D D and the nipples hard as a rock. I knew he had made plans to give me some, what do you, what do you think the rhyme is? <laughs> Correct. It's cock. I could see by the smile on his red face and the bulge in his pants. He was starting to stroke his big lance. I bent over and spread my long legs, showed him my wet hole. Damn, that big boy had brought out his version of the North Pole. <laughs> Fantastic. He slipped in me first a good seven and then all nine. Is that like a, is that like a weird Star Trek reference? Because they actually, okay. I knew that if he had any more, he would blow my mind. Not mind, mine. Incidentally, that's the name of the, the blanket I had as a child. I would call it my mine. Um, not really sure why, you know, kind of kid logic. We both beyond, began to call out, oh my God, it is so good. Yes, yes, yes. It wasn't long till he shot ov all over my ass a load. Damn, what a mess. Me on my knees licking his cock cleaning up. 
<laughs> Thank you. Me on my knees, licking his cock clean not once but twice, he looked down and said, I can see you're not naughty, but you're, you're possessive real nice. I sucked on his balls and licked his fuck stick. His eyes looked up and he knew at a glance this girl can do more than one trick. He rose up the chimney with a thunderous fart. The son of the bitch had blown the chimney apart. He swore and he cursed as he rode out of sight. She fucked me again. Piss on you all and have a fucking good night. So that just happened. You know, I'm I'm not um you know, it's 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 just like I appreciate all the words of support, chat. This is uh yeah. <laughs> So, so, okay. All right, no, okay, there's one called Succulent Succotash, so we're going to read that one. Maybe it won't be terrible. It, it'll be terrible. Oh, fuck yeah, this one's short. Also, it's by Happy Titus C. Twas the night before Christmas, and in my crib, she was... Okay. Twas the night before Christmas, and in my crib, she looked so juicy while naked I needed my bib. That would be naked, N-E-K-K-I-D. So let's just, uh, let's just analyze that first, first uh, uh, couplet, right? Twas the night before Christmas, and in my crib, not great, not terrible. She looked so juicy while naked, I needed my bib. Fucking awful. After playing Naked Twister, do we put on our attire for a lovely evening of fire and desire? Is this like... Is this like... Terrible rap? Should I be rapping this? It was a candlelit dinner at McDonald's with such a great delight... Little did she know I would propose to her that night. A worker comes out carrying a hot fudge sundae with nuts. My girl says, you know I can't eat that. Don't want no bubble guts. I say to her, you're possessive, my woman, my queen, a certified dime. Never a stranger to blowing up my bathroom all the damn time. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> she takes a chance eating the Sunday as I sing, let's get married while she bites into the engagement ring. She wastes no time saying yes to me. We dash back to my place and the rest is history. Some asks what I wanted to marry her in a flash. I tell her it was because of her succulent succo tash. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. We're doing good. This is good. Everything is good. Everything about this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Um, so, you know, I think maybe let's, uh, yeah! let's, let's, let's pull the chat again. We have another choice here. So uh, tell me if you want one or two. Uh, one is Christmas Ode to My Playmate. And Christmas, or sorry, number two is Night Before Xmas Swinger Style. Seeing some ones, but seeing a whole lot more twos. So it looks like we're doing Swinger Style. Which uh, is like Gangnam Style. This uh, this joke coming at you from 2013. All right, let's talk vampires. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house, tension was building as I opened my blouse. My stockings were worn with a peel and some flair in the hopes that your mouth would remove them with care. The children were nestled and not yet at home while visions of having you home all alone. Our hearts beating together with a tip and a tap as we enjoyed each other's bodies, not just for a nap. 
When out of the bedroom there arose such a clatter, you sprung from my body to see what's the matter. Away down the hallway they stood in a flash, by you finding your gift only wearing a sash. Her breast was the color, Her breast was the color of new fallen snow, eyes filled up with luster eyes filled up with luster from what I, I don't know how to read this one. Eyes filled up with luster from what she did know, I guess. When what to your wondering eyes should appear, a red head in heels and hose that was sheer, with three women knelt by you, lively and quick, lips touching each other's with a wet little lick, more rapid than ever, your eyes scan the night as you moved in much closer to the pussies so tight. Now touch us, now kiss us, now make us feel right, in bed they did lead you with a tripod upright. Like a tripod website? I always preferred angel fire. In front of the TV on the bed down the hall, climbed onto my dildo with hunger to view all. As witness, you come on, dude, you were doing so good. You were so close. You actually had decent scansion. Why? Like you just, you just like you, as, as you get hornier, do you just like you can't, you can't like keep the fucking scansion together? Party. This is not a fucking party. Okay. As wetness is dripping, the hotness has grown. When your bodies start touching, I consume a... I... uh, What? When your bodies start touching, I consume a loud moan. I... I... Okay. Is this like... Is this a monster girl? So... uh so up to the TV, my eyes on the glass, I finger my pussy while you're eating one's ass. The other is yearning, pussy starting to dribble as she straddles your back as she tucks, tugs on your nipple. The tugs are getting stronger in erection you feel, her tongue now the leader, your balls swell with thrill. And then in a twinkling, I heard the door shut, the silhouette of his body so bulging and cut. And as he drew to my body and turned me around, held my face to watch, as his pants shit the ground sliding his hands up gently to my thigh searching for wetness his fingers did try you're really reaching for it okay then lifting my dress revealing my supple mound as he rubbed it and spanked it for this he He was quiet and mysterious as I lay on the bed while making me watch you by turning my head. The curl of toes and the spread of their leg, your cock-teasing pussy, I then heard them beg. This is, this is just devolved into nonsense at this point. This is just word salad. His eyes, how they focused as his body entered mine. His cheeks showed of hunger, for now it was time. His weight all upon me, each thrust felt surreal. As I watched you performing, it was you I could feel. What? All glory to the hypnotoad. Legs wrapped around you, your shoulders are flexed. My breath grew quit heavy to see what was next. Your body showed pleasure by the arch of your back. Desire and passion was not at all lacked. I bit my wet lips as they felt what was mine. The harder you fucked them, I grimaced with shine. The harder you fucked them, I grimaced with shine. Uh, a look of his eye and a twist of his head. You like to watch him fuck. Is what he then said. Thumping me hard with his breath in my ear. Words of a man filled with arousal I hear. Okay, nope, nope. It's drinking time. The pounding group. God, how much fucking love. Oh my God, this just keeps going. Okay, nope, we're done with that. That one's done. Somehow it ended really early. I don't know how. It's just kind of magic. Hi, how are you? I, uh... I don't really know what to do here. <laughs> you never know what a window is going to be. 
until you marry art and science for this era. Azteca, the best suffocation album is, um, I really like um, uh, Legion of Inveracity, but um, whatever the fuck the follow-up is, I forget the name of it, is also really good. But I just, I don't know, I'm not really into that whole New York sound, so. Um, <laughs> what about cattle decapitation? Uh, I don't know that I, oh, wait, no. Uh, Harvest Floor is the cattle decap album I like. I just like seeing them live, man. They're fucking great live, but, um, you know. Uh, what's the album? I'm sorry. Uh, the song Dancing Queen. Not super sure uh, what album that's off of. Uh, Travis from, uh, do I want to do a donation incentive? I don't know how to do a donation incentive. I wasn't trained on this. Uh, yeah, let's absolutely let's do a donation incentive. Guilty pleasure album. I have so many fucking guilty pleasure albums. Uh, I've been listening to a whole lot of like happy hardcore lately while I'm working. Set a price for a like. Is this I have to set the price? Uh. I have, uh, okay, 75 bucks for a Lou painting. I hope that is a decent, decent price. <laughs> uh, favorite They Might Be Giants song. Favorite They Might Be Giants song. Uh, Birdhouse in Your Soul. Oh, no, sorry, 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 fuck. Uh, 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 whatever the fucking one is, uh, turn around. Turn around, turn around. There's a thing that there can be found. Turn around, turn around. There's a human skull on the ground. So. I'm not particularly. Uh, <laughs> I'm not actually uh, that excited for a Bruce Dickinson solo album. Um, I haven't paid that much attention to Iron Maiden um, lately. I don't know. They're just like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of, kind of, um, I really actually like Virtual Eleven, the Blaze Bailey album. But I mean, realistically, like I, I'm just kind of, kind of stoked on, on like peace of mind. Public Energy Enemy number six. Congratulations on winning a uh, um, uh, winning the painting. That's fantastic. S and D Tobin, what, what's the problem? Why are why are you why are you taking the Lord's name in vain? I don't understand why you would ever do that. That's obviously, as we're all good Christians here. Um, we were so close to boob 69, but we did not get it. That is, uh, I am actually excited that we are, uh, we're, we are moving. <laughs> Virtual 11 is unlistenable. Look, man, I got it when I was in high school. It has like nostalgic value to me. Um, <laughs> oh shit. Is that, is, is, is turnaround part of fingertips? Fingertips is fantastic also. <laughs> Hey man, I'm just I'm 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 I am not making any claims that I listen to good music. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. We will we will read some more shitty poetry. But fingertips is fantastic. So this one's called a Christmas parody. It's gonna be fucking awful. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas, and out in my house, the computer glue grew blurry as my hand left the mouse. I lounged and I stretched and pushed back the chair. Then I took off my clothes and crept to bed bare. My wife in her nightie was tucked in our bed, asleep with no snuggle, no nookie, no head. Sliding in right beside her and holding my wand, I began to wave it in the manner I'm fond. Please don't be a Harry Potter thing. When out in the yard there arose such a ruckus, I wondered if aliens had landed to fuck us. 
Peering past blinds in our bubbling pool, I searched for the culprit while holding my tool. The moon on the breasts of my wife laying near gave the appearance that I held aloft a long spear. Then from, then from my luscious wife, my eyes were torn by a slave by a sleigh pulled by eight flying antelopes with horns. With a little man driving, they flew by right quick, but I saw that the driver also held his own dick. The two deer had begun novels all themselves and the back of the sleigh screwed two portly elves stop dasher now dancer won't you get off vixen let's land before someone deflowers young blitzen i've got a hard on making my britches too tight let's get home before mrs claus retires tonight a moan from behind turned me around as i gazed my wife seemed to be in some erotic dream crazed one hand between her thighs <laughs> The other on tit, eyes shut, mouth open, just a perfect cock fit. As I moved in upon her, I heard up above the prancing and pawing of hot reindeer love. As I slipped myself in, her lips closed around. Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He threw a bag down, dropped it right on his toes, cursing in silence. I heard him sniff with his nose. My wife's honey fragments from her sex had just poured. <clears throat> Fuck, that's gross. Okay. And suit had him... Sorry, I'm just really freaked out by women, um, and just in general. And Sud had him standing rock hard by our door. His eyes, how they twinkled, his hands didn't tarry. His erection was standing like he'd seen his first cherry. As I knelt there in shock, being sort of for free, my slumbering wife, St. Nick, and I made, now made three. The stump in his hand carried him up to the bed. With a wink and a nod, not a word was need said. He leaned in and flopped between her legs with his belly and ate her real slow like hot biscuits and jelly. And ate her real slow like hot biscuits and jelly. <laughs> She awake spat me out. I'm a naughty young elf, and I heard him mutter, I've been a bit bad myself. A flick of his tongue and a kiss on her knob, and her trio was made as she resumed her mouth job. He spoke not a word, but whipped out his north pole and took her from front as I filled her back hole. And we pleasured her till she came with a yell, each taking turns, jingling her little love bell. Then sprang from Slay, as I heard he shout, I left her a present before I pulled out. Then I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, happy fucking to all, and to all a good night. So we got three minutes left. Which means it's time for poetry. Wait, this has all been poetry. Fuck. All right. One last one. This is the S&M night before Christmas. Ah! Well, let me finish my wine. "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring save the woman, quiet as a mouse. She lay on the ground, all covered from head to toe in silky lace and black rope, to please her master in the morning being her hope. Her master was asleep, all hustled in bed, no idea of his love's plans in his head, no idea that while he sleep slept she slipped away, her mind filled with thoughts of nothing but play on the coming Christmas day. This is worse than normal. When out on downstairs there arose such a clatter, the master jumped up from the bed to see what was the matter. Down the stairs he moved like a flash to find his amusement to his bound love's failed attempt to the bathroom to dash. Yeah, seriously. The pale noon's light landed on her form, all sprawled out on the floor, limbs aligned much out of the norm, and at the cleaning of his throat he gave a little jump and squeak, and in her impressive self-made bindings he decided to take pity on her and helped her to her feet. I think that wins. I think that's the worst single line in any of these poems I've ever read. With a few rubs to her calves, her blood to and her... Uh, with a few rubs to her calves, her blood into her legs started to once flow, and how ill-advised her attempts to move she began to know. With her master's watchful eyes moving from her toes to her head, she felt her face turn entirely red. Well, this is quite the impressive show, a true work of art, how you've bound yourself from head to toe. You didn't have to sneak around, though. If you'd mentioned your plans, I'd been happy to know. Not often do I get to watch you work on your... Fuck. Just... And of course, it's like a billion fucking lines long. Fuck this. 
Fuck all of this. Did you learn anything from this? Yeah, you learned that fucking Lemon and Boots like to give you shitty goddamn docs. <laughs> so that's it for me this evening. Thank you very much for uh, for listening and hanging out. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of the marathon and have a good evening.